owner of Walk the Line Recovery Therapy is the survivor of a catastrophic injury in a car accident. She is one of many people I spoke to who say they feel that legislators have made it legal for insurance companies to break contracts. And they say doing so is a matter of life and death. Display and announce the vote. Therefore, the bill is passed. In May 2019, lawmakers passed legislation they said would lower insurance rates for Michigan drivers. But for some of the most vulnerable, rates are going up drastically. The legislation cut how much is being paid out for care of people with catastrophic injuries by 45 percent, effective July 1st this year. And many are being told they will have to make up the difference. I am worried about a future. Erica Colson is president of Walk the Line Recovery Therapy. She says the care being cut provides accident survivors with everything from help breathing with a ventilator to getting dressed and transportation. If our clients, those that we serve, don't have the services that they need to get to the places they need to go, then that obviously impacts us as a business. The agency that takes care of me might go out of business. Justin Sabaugh is an accident survivor from Novi. He says he knows some providers who would make below the minimum wage if their rates were cut 45 percent. How are you coping with, with the potential I mean, of this? Honestly, it's almost suicidal. Are you afraid for your life if you lose this insurance? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I can't. I can't be left alone for any amount of time. Brian Woodward says he is able to live a full life and work in the auto industry with attendant care. He says his attendant literally saved his life last night. I passed out completely and I was not aware of anything. And they were able to, you know, get me to come back around. Um, otherwise, we wouldn't be having this interview right now if I didn't have that care. First Call Home Health Care in Clinton Township says if the cuts go into effect, it will have to close. Some of its patients are on ventilators, and they have not been able to find facilities that can keep them alive. Our patients are going to be dropped off at the hospital. Um, guardians are going to be called, adult protective services. Um, this is not a drill. This is not uh, hyperbole. Two lawmakers have introduced legislation to prevent a 45% cut. State Senator Curtis Hertel, a Democrat from Lansing, introduced Senate Bill 314. And this is something the legislature uh, should go back and fix. State Representative Douglas Wozniak, a Republican from Shelby Township, introduced House Bill 4486. He says he did so thinking of his neighbor's daughter, who survived a catastrophic accident. When I look at the age of his daughter and the age of my daughter, about the same, and if that would have happened to my daughter, not good. Lawmakers are only scheduled to be in session for a few more weeks. If you have an opinion on this, the time to contact your lawmaker is right now. In Southfield, Kim Russell, 7